Hey everyone, welcome to the unboxing and photo review of the Red Sun Superman Premium Format figure from Sideshow Collectibles. I'm really excited to see how this one came out in production, so let's crack it open. Okay. While we're watching me rip through this unboxing portion of the video, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the source material. Uh, for those of you who may not be in the know, Superman Red Sun is a graphic novel. It sprang from the mind of Mark Miller, that Scottish madman who gave us the likes of Kick-Ass, Wanted, and Kingsman the Secret Service, my personal favorite. In Red Sun, Miller asked the question, what if, instead of crashing into the all-American Kansas farmland of Ma and Pa Kent, Superman's spaceship had fallen into a field in the Soviet Union during the Cold War. Now, I don't want to give anything away, except to say that the story brilliantly avoids being cliche. If you haven't read it, do so immediately, and once you've been hooked, go out and buy this statue because it mm, makes an impression. Start with this base. I mean, it's a 3D representation of Superman's shield, the one on his chest. Anyone who grew up with or lived in the shadow of the Cold War is bound to find it chilling because instead of being the S, it's totally the hammer and sickle of um, the Soviet Union. So that's creepy, right? Um, it's nicely complemented by this gold detailing that you can insert onto the base itself. It uh, Overall, the base lends a seriously Art Deco vibe to the piece, um, kind of reminiscent of the propaganda posters of that era. Um, definitely sets a tone. I like the gold leafing on it. I mean, look at this. Bam. Look at those colors. And that's just the way that everything complements each other. And then there's the costume. They went with this really cool gray that's almost blue. It's kind of like the skies over Siberia is the way I think of it. Um, it even comes off of as blue in some of these clips, but I think that's more of a color issue with my camera than anything else. Um... This beautiful black patent leather looking belt. I had some issues as you see. You can see me stumbling with it when I'm trying to put it on here. But um, yeah, I'm being really careful about it. But there's really no need. Just get it together because that cape is going to cover it up. You're not going to see it. Speaking of that cape, look at this thing. The paintwork on it. It's just glorious. It gives it the appearance of being sort of this leather-like, almost like a rubberized material. It's much more serious, much more imposing than the typical fabric cape that you you would expect to see on a Superman figure. Um, don't forget the portrait, which, by the way, just has this stern look to it. And there he is. Um, it's tough to argue against the effectiveness of this piece. It's a perfect, perfect realization of the designs of Dave Johnson and Killian Plunkett, who handled the art tasks on, uh, on the Red Sun graphic novel. Um... Sideshow's team effectively adapted onto the template of the original Superman PF, and it's it's a nice, gorgeous contrast to that statue. Whether you display this one alone on a desk in an office or pair it with the original in a display case or something, it's bound to evoke conversation, um, like the story from which it came. It's head-turning, thought-provoking, and maybe a little timely. Um, at any rate, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, feel free to uh, leave some comments. Um, let me know what you thought, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can with uh, something else. Thanks for watching.